Scholars. Today we're going to review or learn about the Dewey Decimal Classification System. Learning this information is going to help you find nonfiction books in a library. The Dewey Decimal System was created by a guy named Melville Dewey and he created it so that the library would be organized so people could find their information. Before Melville Dewey came up with this system, books were actually put on the shelf in no particular order, or if there was an order, it was usually just in the order of how the books were purchased. So if you ever want to find information and you didn't have a lot of time to browse through all of the book, you'd have to go to the librarian and hope that he or she would remember when the book was bought or purchased and be able to remember where it is on the shelf. It was a really, really bad system. So we're really happy that Melville Dewey came up with the Dewey Decimal System. So the way it works is that all of the books are organized into 10 main categories or groups. And each group is represented by a title and a hundreds number. So here's a listing of all 10 or the big 10 of the different Dewey Decimal categories. So you're already familiar with the Dewey Decimal Classification call number system because you're familiar with spine labels. We've talked a lot about this. You can find a Dewey number of a book based on the number that's on its spine. And that's how we find our books using call numbers in a library. But this movie is going to talk about what each of those sections are about. So let's go ahead and look. The zero hundredths, or the generalities, are in our library a really small section. But you will find Guinness Book of World Records here, and we also have a lot of cool books on the unexplainable, like UFOs and monsters in this section too. Interesting little bit of trivia is when Melville Dewey made up the Dewey Decimal System, he was smart enough to know that way back in the 1800s, all of the world's knowledge was not figured out yet. So he left a lot of space in this section particularly. So anything that's kind of occurred since Melville Dewey lived has kind of get, gotten stuck in here. That's why the whole UFO thing is in this section. Computer science is in this section. It kind of doesn't really make sense that those books are all put together, but that's the reason why. The 100s, or the philosophy section, you'll find books about feelings and good character and ghosts, which is kind of, again, a weird combination. The religion section, or the 200s, is a really big section here at St. Margaret's. Besides books about Christianity and other religions like Judaism and Islam, you're also going to find the mythology books. At St. Margaret's, this section, the 300s, or the social science section, is one of our largest because we have a huge folklore, fable, and fairy tale section, and those are all located right here. But there are so many other interesting topics found in the 300s, like different people groups, politics, holidays, social problems, and even transportation. At St. Margaret's, we don't have a lot of books written in other languages, but you will find some pretty interesting books about how wacky English is in the 400s, or language section. Our natural science and math, or 500 section, is really large because we have all of those animal books in this area. This is a really popular, interesting section. The applied sciences section, or the 600s, have a lot of interesting books as well. It's filled with books about how we use science. For example, books about animals that are pets are located in the 600s, and the cooking books are also here. Super, super popular section, the 700s. Besides the drawing books, there's also the sports books. A long time ago, libraries would put all of their fiction books in this section, the literature or the 800s, but now most librarians have so many fiction books that they put it in a se separate section like we do. But you're still going to find poetry and drama here. Want to know about a place in the world or something that happened in the past? Head to the geography and history section or the 900s. Most libraries have so many biography books that they put them in a separate section, like we do. 
our, set, our call numbers for biography simply start with the letter B. There you have it. There's a run through of the Dewey Decimal System. Hope, hope you can use this information to find some really good nonfiction books. Let's see what you remember. Who created the Dewey Decimal Classification System? What does the Dewey Decimal Classification System do for our library? How many main classifications are there? Where do you find the Dewey Decimal Classification number on a library book? I hope this information will be helpful to you.